Hey everybody, it's James here from the Sawyer Family Reviews channel. Today is Wednesday, June 2nd, 2021. This is the weekly comic book pickups video. Every week I buy comic books. I get them for myself, I get them for my kids. I always get them at Queen City Comics in Fairfield, Ohio, zip code 45014. If you're in the area and into comic books, check out that comic shop. And while you're at it, check out the toy department. Let's jump in. Now, for a guy that doesn't really enjoy the current DC main comic universe i sure to get a lot of dcs today this is all dc in this in this bag today and it's all new dc i'm gonna burp <clears throat> there you go uh here we go first up a book for both keaton and gracie batman Fortnite zero point number four they're they're cranking these out it feels like i'm getting one of these every two weeks it might be a bi-monthly book i don't know i guess it is uh, it's four ninety nine. They're they come poly bagged. For some reason, they do not note on the poly bag that the reason that it's poly bagged is become is because it comes with a code for a in game item. And this time around, I don't know what it is. I don't play the game, but it looks like okay. I'm, come on now. There we go. Some kind of glider thing. Maybe a Catwoman glider. Is that a Batman glider? I don't know. But you redeem this cosmetic item there. Um, so far, Keaton seems to be enjoying the book. Last issue had Snake Eyes. This issue's got Deathstroke, looks like. Concept by Donald Mustard, writer Christos Gage, art by Christian... Christian Deuce? All right. Let's see what Deuce dropped in this one. Uh, let's see. That's good-looking art, though. It's looking really good. I guess these are all Fortnite dudes. Hang out with Batman guys. Yeah, I mean, it's it's Batman, it's Fortnite. That's what you're going to get. You, you bought the book, that's what you're going to get. Uh, next up is a book that I told myself I probably was not interested in until I saw this cover. Holy moly, this cover is awesome. I'm not even interested in Batman Tom King writing. I'm not interested in uh, this name. I'm not interested in Tom King writing. But you bring Phantasm into the DC Universe, and I, my interest is piqued. Then you do a cover like this, which I believe is Travis Cherist, and you're going to get me to buy it, because that's that's Phantasm. Uh, that's Phantasm. Okay. So I have no idea what the book's about. I know it's written by Tom King, with art by Clay Man. And Clay Man is good. I like Clay Man art. Um... Wait a second, this is from, that's from Batman Mask of the Phantasm. That's the Jokers in the, the, the Gotham Future exhibit, like the World's Fair thing. She's the little, uh, the, the, the thing that chops the, the food up for him. You know what I'm talking about. That's Phantasm, man. All right, you know what, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to read at least... I'm going to flip through this one. I'm going to flip through this one, and I'm going to see if I should buy the other ones. I have no idea what it's about. If you read Batman Catwoman, and you think it's pretty good, leave a comment down below if, if, you t if I should go back and buy one through four. This cover, though, it got me. I guess it got me. These are uh, $4.99. $4.99 for this. All right. And then the book I'm most excited about for the day, one for me and one for Blaze, Batman Adventures Continue Season 2. Season one is over. We're on to season two. These are $3.99. It's uh, the team that brought you, two of the guys that brought you Batman the Animated Series, Alan Burnett and Paul Dini, and one of the guys behind most, or not most, but a lot of the Batman Adventures type comics, Ty Templeton, doing the art. I'm not going to flip too far in advance because I don't want to have this spoiled for me, but obviously this involves Talon and the Court of Owls. So we got that image and Dead Man. We got Dead Man over here too. So that's exciting. You got Dead Man, we got Batman, we got the Court of Owls, we got Barbara Gordon. All right, I'm, that's it. That's as far as I'm going. I'm not going to go any further. That's exciting. I loved, I won't, I won't say I loved, but I really enjoyed Batman Adventure Continues Season 1, which we'll talk about that right now because the trade just came out. Batman Adventures Continues Season 1, same team, price on this. 20 bucks, you get Batman Adventures 1 through 8, all the original title cards from the digital chapters, and character sketches. Which that was missing from the individual issues was the title cards. 
Here we go. That's a title card from the ooh, Armored Batman designed by Ty Templeton. That's cool. So there were title cards because these were digital first. I'm waiting to see if we can find another one. And the digital first versions had a title card to start it out, which I'm guessing that's that. So far, I'm not really seeing the ones I'm thinking about because I do remember seeing a couple of them. Come on. That's a cover. This is not title cards. Are they at the end? Are they at the end? Did they make them at the end? They did. They put them at the end. Okay. Yeah, so they did these title cards, which are very reminiscent of the title cards from the Batman the Animated Series episodes. Those are cool. Those are really cool. I'm glad to have these in print, so I'm glad I bought this. Even though I have all the individual issues, and I did enjoy this book. It's not perfect. It's not perfect by any means, but it was a fun, enjoyable read. It was nice to get back into the DC Animated Universe again. Um, I would really love another series set in the Batman the Animated Series timeline, though. So this takes place sort of um, around the time of New Batman Adventures and Justice League, and I would like some more books set during Batman the Animated Series, because I prefer that art style and that look. Um, But this is still a fun ride. It was a good book. Okay, that's it for this week. If you bought anything, leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, notify, you know the the drill. Um, Anytime you do that, if you watch these videos, anytime you like or subscribe or notify or even especially leave a comment down below, it it helps the channel and it helps for exposure. Again, I really do this for my own enjoyment, but it is always fun to interact with more people. So the more people that watch them, the more people interact, the more fun it becomes. So if you watch this, just leave a brief comment down below. It would really help me out. All right? Cool. See you guys.